Hey everybody, this is Scott and Lisa. It's December of 2020. What a year it's been. And uh, this year we've got a surprise for the, uh, for the family. Uh, we've got these films that have been around the family for as long as I can remember. We watched them probably for the first time 30 years ago. So after seeing the Legacy Box ads coming through all the time, it inspired me to want to put all these films uh, or get them digitized so we can preserve this family history uh, for family generations to see. For me, working on this project has been really fun because it's kind of taken me back in time. Some things uh, are familiar, some things are totally unfamiliar. So basically the project just really inspired this whole feeling of curiosity and legacy and really uh, interested in how the rest of the family is going to react to this project. All right, we're going to talk about the videos in just a second, but I want to talk about how this project came to pass. So I can't give all the credit to my amazing wife, Lisa, here, who uh, saw all these films down. We were cleaning out the basement earlier this year and came across the films and, and this amazing camera and the projector. And so I'm really hoping that this project finds its way down to the next generation and the generation after that. So a little bit about the, the, the project itself and some of the stats. So... Overall, you can see these, uh, you can see in front of us here, we've got uh, 52 separate films that were digitized as part of this project. Uh, almost four hours of total footage, uh, about four and a half minutes a piece, a few are a little bit more than 10 minutes, and uh, 40 of these videos are color, 12 of them are black and white. Uh, the black and whites tend to run through about 1940 and then 41, it seems like we start seeing the color. Uh, the earliest videos that we can tell, I think are 1938 or so. And the last video I think is actually filmed in 1965. Some of them were labeled, some of them weren't. Some of them were labeled really well, some of them not so much. And uh, so it's been qu uh, quite a project to watch them all and, uh, and try to get some semblance of what, uh, what the content is. So, uh, some of the things that you're going to find on this uh, project are going to include uh, my mom and dad's wedding reception on Orchard Street uh, on June 26, 1965 is one of the videos you're going to get to see here. That actually might be the newest of all the videos that we've got. I think the rest are going to be earlier than that. One of the coolest videos in this project is uh, the grand opening of the very first lift at Sugarloaf. It was in, I think, December of 1955. It could have been January of 56, but it was the 55-56 season, the first T-bar. And uh, my mom, uh, Linda Flint, uh, getting the first ride up the mountain. My grandfather's in it. Great shots of Amos Winter and Bunny Bass and all kinds of uh, great uh, legend, legendary sugar loafers uh, in that video. Also amongst the collection you'll find uh, my grandparents Jim and Barbara Flint's honeymoon to Hawaii in 1940. They left Farmington in March of 1940 and traveled across the country trains, planes, automobiles and, and even a few boats and uh, they got some great footage out in Hawaii. It's all in color. Uh, great trip on the way back, coming through the Grand Canyon, some great footage of the Grand Canyon. So it's really neat to see that, especially considering Hawaii wasn't even a state yet. This is pre-war, pre-World War II Hawaii. Uh, and uh, it's just neat to see it through through the lens of, uh, of their honeymoon. Uh, lots of great footage of the Flint girls throughout this, uh, this collection. Uh, Jill and Judy and Jolene and my mom Linda and uh, all of their parents and Others, uh, Tommy Stearns, Drew and Ora Stearns, are featured in some of these videos. There's also a couple of uh, really early trips out to Wilson Lake in the early 40s, uh, where camp is, our happy place. Uh, really All right, so this YouTube channel, I've tried to set it up as best I can with playlists and keywords and descriptions, but I really need some help. So some of these... Uh, places and people and times. I think uh, if the Flint girls are watching this or, or anyone out there who might have uh, the ability to add to the descriptions, please do so in the comments or just, just you can uh, email me. My email address for this project is right on the, uh, on the homepage of the YouTube channel. And uh, it's Flint Family Films. Uh, and I'm hoping that uh, if you do see something that you can add context to any of these, 
please do so in the comments or send me a message and we'll get it added. This is for posterity and, and uh, hopefully uh, we can capture this and, and enjoy it for years to come. So with that, I think we'll call an end to this little intro and uh, hopefully you'll go and watch some of these videos. Uh, one of the coolest things has been this camera right here. This is the original uh, Kodak camera that was a uh, projector uh, to watch these and we have used it over the years. I think the last time we used it was probably four or five years ago and it worked great. Um, it's beautiful. It's in perfect condition. The case, maybe not so much, but this has been inside that case for all these years and it uh, looks like a brand new piece of equipment um, that uh, I think is a really cool tribute to this project and, and uh, something that hopefully we'll get to enjoy in person someday. We hope you enjoy going back in time, reliving these wonderful memories. Enjoy. This has been a really fun project to work on. Hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and uh, enjoy. Merry Christmas.